Good morning. It's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com. This is where I like to discuss uh, whatever's on my mind. Sometimes production things, sometimes uh, tech things, sometimes video games things, sometimes just me things. Uh, kind of an extension of what's going on here. Uh, my 10-minute discussion every day. Oh, now on YouTube. Go look it up if you're on Sorgatron.com. Follow through that video. I need a subscribe button on there, don't I? I'll work on that. Uh, but anyways, it's Tuesday in the middle of the great snowstorm of 2015. So great that we, for the first time ever, had to have Raw. I think it's the first time ever for this. The first time they have canceled the live event for Raw and put it in a studio. Uh, well, you know, uh, speaking of wrestling production... Just coming off of IWC's Reloaded event this past weekend. Yeah, this was the first event uh, under the... Under the... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I just saw what they did on their site. Um, under the purview of the new owner in the International Wrestling Cartel, Justin Plummer. He's been a pleasure to work with. There's very, very exciting things going on there. It was such a fun show. They had... Um, this was this is one of those where they had uh, a lot of new concepts, and for those who have never been to uh, one of these uh, shows in uh, uh, Elizabeth, PA, um, it's really tremendous. It's really a spectacle. Uh, we we've seen we've seen it grow. Uh, there's it's in this venue, the Court Time Sports Center, where they have lights over the ring. We get the to to the hide that this is a a gymnasium like most indies do, and if you're on video, what you're looking at is early footage from the weekend. This is actually the raw uh, the raw uh, edit from the live switch that we have um, on that night, and I'm actually this morning going to be taking this footage and turning it into the DVDs and digital downloads. Um, and it's such a great crowd. I guess four, 400 people showed up for this thing, and it just looks tremendous. Looks tremendous on film. Looks tremendous uh, all around. And I'm so pleased with that. And you can see in the background, if you're on video, we do do a little bit of a video setup. Uh, in this case, you're looking at Tommy Dreamer, you know, the ECW legend, Tommy Dreamer. And we get to put up, like, match graphics, kind of a Titan Tron-y kind of thing. When the match graphics aren't on, they're just getting the live feed of what I'm switching. Uh, this, that's, this video that you're seeing here is what the crowd sees. Um, especially if uh, in this match is extreme roles, him against other uh, former ECW slash WWE star Colin Delaney, who's a really great guy. We're hoping to have him on the Indie Mayhem sh show here shortly. Um, and uh, it's a really cool effect. And I know I I've heard a lot of compliments on, on, on how it comes off. Um, another another uh, associate with the IWC uh, has a wedding um, kind of DJ company, and they have these crazy lights you might have seen flash in there um, during the entrance entrances and such, and it's just a great experience um, for for the fans and, and 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 nobody else, nobody else that I'm aware of in this area does anything on this scale, um, and it's really funny, and this is where I'm going to kind of reveal a little bit here. I, if you've ever come over, look at my my desk that I set up, and, and and I'm always I'm always concerned that it doesn't entirely look professional, but I I suppose it looks a little more interesting than than most. Um, it's my usual setup. I got a hardware switcher. Of course, we're only SD right now uh, and really, really exploring the uh, HD options. Uh, but there's just not much money in pro wrestling. Um, and I don't have any other cl clients uh, kind of clamoring for, for that uh, uh, demand. Uh, but that's still, I just kind of want to have the option available. I'm looking for some cost-effective solutions. Um, but uh, in the meantime, we're doing that. Uh, basically, uh, I'm live switching on a, on a uh, uh, SD switcher. I understand the model that I have is uh, very hot in uh, church settings. <laughs> so there you go there. Um, and it goes through, and I actually just patched it through one of my uh, spare cameras here, and then it firewires into a MacBook Pro, and, and it captures it. And that's how I have this uh, wonderful digital footage. It saves me so much time and, and gets us. Um, we're talking about this show was on Saturday night. And only because I have other things to do in the days in between, I only have until Tuesday morning to start editing it, putting the final touches. And those digitals, people will be able to start downloading on Wednesday sometime. Um, and for IWC, we do the full show, uh, typically for like 10 bucks, And then uh, for uh, $1, $2, uh, you can get the matches individually, uh, as a, a thing we started a few months ago. Um, so... And it's worked pretty well. It's been very responsive to it, and and we're hoping to kind of make that better. Um, but uh, but but this time there were so you may see we have backstage segments, 
We have uh, videos pop up on the screen. There's this concept of a reset button, a randomizer that picked the opponents for, for all the title matches. Um, you know, kind of given this this error that it was a very random kind of thing. Justin Plummer, by the way, you know, he's the guy that did Aftershock. Um, he learned a lot of video from when he started Aftershock to to, to now, now the owner. And he, <laughs> I have to find out where, because I know he's not making these graphics. He has to be getting an assets uh, resource somewhere. Um, but tremendous stuff with the, these reset buttons and stuff. They had one fun one that was Virgil popped out. Uh, to kind of show anything could happen, kind of ended the night with Tommy Dreamer coming out, taking on a new uh, uh, IWC champion. And I want to show you, you guys might have noticed if you're looking, the, the couple times when I screwed up during the show. Unfortunately, when I screw up, I screw up in front of 400 people. This is why I don't get nervous about things anymore, guys, because <laughs> this is where I'm kind of at, is uh, I, I, we're, we're presenting in front of so many people. It's just kind of old hat for me right now. Um, but that's over like several several years of doing this too. It doesn't happen overnight a lot of times. But here is the uh, extra computer that we patch in. And I, what this is, this is a, oh, no, I don't know, maybe uh, 2006, running Windows XP Media Center 2005 uh, to, be, to be exact. Uh, it's a Dell XPS laptop. A fantastic thing. I probably got in 2005, 2006. Um, but it works. It still works. It, it is the most, it, I don't have a laptop of quality that of usefulness that has lasted as long as this one has. This has been a workhorse, but it's an XPS, which was one of the top, I mean, this is a $1,500 laptop, um, from 10 years ago. That's the difference guys. You guys buying $600 laptops, why they wonder why they only last two years. That's the difference. I'm still using this for production. It has wonderful S video. Yes, I'm using S video. I got kind of thrown under the bus for that this weekend um, uh, by somebody who doesn't do video. And uh, well, you know, it works. It's high-ish quality. Uh, I don't have BNC on my cameras. If you know a BNC, and I'm sure a small, small fraction of you guys do, um, but it works very well. Uh, I also have a Ubuntu installation on this as well. You get, I was using this for a while when I was having laptop troubles, or my laptop was tied up getting renders out. Uh, this is what I take to the coffee shop with me, and uh, just run Ubuntu, and, and you know, hopefully, I had like just my social media work to do, and it was great for it. It's like running a Chromebook <laughs> at that point. Um, it's like a what is it? What is it? Was it like Pentium M or something they were running at the time? I don't know. All the stickers have worn off of it, so I don't know what's actually inside of it. Um, but anyways, I mean, that's 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 the stuff we're running on. That's the stuff we pulled together to try to get this sort of production value, you know, some sort of production value here um, as far as uh, uh, pro wrestling goes, trying to get a good product out. No, it's not HD, you know. Um, and part of that is the target has been DVD until recently when we've, again, very, uh, very covertly built ourselves a digital distribution platform on SorgatronMedia.com, PittsburghWrestling.com, um, and, and been able to do that um, through, and if you want to know, I mean, I'll do a whole, uh, it will, will very, very, very plainly, it's, um, well, you know, I run on WordPress for about everything, and there's actually a plugin called, I think it's Easy, easy download, easy something download tool or plugin or something like that. Um, and that's it. And it works. And it interfaces with, with uh, PayPal. I have a pretty decent plan on my on my GoDaddy account. And um, we're, we put the videos up there. You can go download a two gigabyte uh, rendered file of IWC, of RWA, of uh, we're serving our friends at Vicious Outcast Wrestling. I don't produce it, but we put it up there for people to, to purchase. Uh, prime wrestling cuts that we've been doing with uh, Joe Dombrowski, uh, the great the great stuff that was over in Ohio on television, um, and, and other stuff. Other, the other productions I'm doing with him, including like Fighting Zach Gowan, Montreal Theory, uh, the AJ Style uh, exclusive interviews and stuff, uh, Refereeing 101, great stuff. Um, it's been it's, it's been great what we've been building over here, and it's just a matter of letting more people know about it and uh, keep improving. You guys know in the studio, I've discussed multiple times how it's just how many of these computers are found computers in front of me here. I put got a new laptop. I was so excited because it was a Core Duo 2 chip in it. I'm like, man, that's going to run Hangout 
pretty okay. Um, and it integrated last week, and I love the performance of it. Um, that's how most of this is run. Most of what I have running these productions is secondhand. We don't have the budget for this kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, but we find a way. We certainly, certainly find a way. And we're having a lot of fun doing it. And now, uh, and now I, I got to shoot a rematch of uh, one of the uh, storylines I watched on television, which is tremendous. Chachi on cam, by the way. Um, so uh, really cool. Really, really cool. If you want to check any of that out, please check out IWCWrestling.com. Um, follow Sogertron.com. We're putting sales out all the time if you want to check out DVDs. Uh, well, mostly we're, we're putting sales up for the digital downloads. Um, it's just easier to scale, guys way easier to scale <laughs> and everybody's getting digitals anyways a lot of people getting off the dvds i know some people are still paid with or whatever especially when we go up to meadville uh we sell a lot of dvds uh, but it makes sense it makes sense it's up there where, where, where a lot of people like we're getting more towards the mountains and stuff and 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 away from the cities and there's not a lot of high speed bandwidth you know i often say you know how my dad still doesn't have cable i think he had to get satellite in order to get any decent internet um so there you go. Uh, there's a little bit behind the scenes. Let me know what you think. Let me know, are you watching any independent wrestling? Are you watching any alternative wrestling, like what we're producing here with the IWC and the RWA, um, which is a big topic lately with the uh, Raw canceled last night. You're finding for an alternative instead of watching the Royal Rumble again, or you're not happy with the Royal Rumble. Are you watching Lucha Underground, Impact Wrestling? Um, what else is out there these days? Or anything else on the lower end, like Chikara or or Inspire Pro, my buddies in Texas. You know, Let me know in the comments. Let me know on Twitter. And uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, some of the uh, Slap Together production I'm doing here. It's not Slap Together, but you know, it feels like it. We're pulling it together. We're making it work over here at Sorgatron Media. Uh, until next time, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.